Hey there, it's Mark. Thank you for tuning in to another case unboxing video. By the way, be sure to check your subscriptions as notifications might be changing. Here I have the USA Mix. It's 2020B. Let's check it out. This is definitely, if I get the super, uh, you know, supers are nice, but this is definitely... If this, the super treasure hunt is in this case, it's definitely the one that I'm going to want for the year. At a glance, I probably did not get the super because it is the Ford GT. And I can see that I have two basic samples right there. And that's usually a sign that uh, I'm probably not going to get the super treasure hunt. That's all right. Uh, I'll just have to get it separately. Indy 500 oval. Here you have the night shifter, diaper dragger. It says it's a boy. I wonder if they're going to be doing a uh, it's a girl version. Pedal de metal. And I found this in a dump bin and it's like, what, what, what? You know what? This car, you don't recognize it. It doesn't say it's a new model. This car is like 10 years old. I thought it was going to be one and done. Yep, I, I'm pretty surprised that they brought it back. Check it out. Uh, it has all skinny wheels, so it should be pretty fast on the track. It does have some weight to it, and uh, I have not sent it through the boosters. I don't know about that. Grupo X24. Very nice color presentation. Here you have roller toaster, and this is one of those models where if, if you move this, the toast or the bread goes up and down. It's not toast until it's done, right? So technically it's bread. And then it becomes toast. Heavy Hitcher. Snoopy, welcome back. Uh, they showed up in the last mix, but it's been gone for a few years. Frankly, I'm surprised. Well, I, actually, I'm not surprised that uh, that car has reappeared. Ford GT40. Ford GT40, that's my favorite car to collect. Favorite licensed car or real car. So I'm really happy that this one is back in the assortment or, you know, we're getting new colors for it. It has the golf decorations, which is going to be golf decals are generally light blue and uh, that orange stripe and a racing stripe. That would be a, a golf decoration. Really, really glad to see that version of Ford GT back. Of course, there's the original Ford GT from the 60s and then the newer 17 Ford GT. But... Uh, that one, that one, where'd it go? Did I take them both out already? No, that one, that's my favorite design for the Ford GT40. And in case you didn't know, it's called GT40. 40, 40, because it's only 40 inches off the ground from the, uh, from the ground to the top of the car. That's why it's called Ford GT40. That's the second one. This is a real nice addition to the Hot Wheels lineup. Nissan Skyline GTR BNR32. And here you have the Porsche Panamera, Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid Sport Turismo. That's quite a name. Uh, I forgot if it's the longest name now or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've been working. I've been busy. I've been moving. So uh, that kind of stuff escapes my memory at the moment. Batmobile in Chrome 2005 Ford Mustang. Had enough of that one personally. Tool again. There's your tool again with your little wrench. Another Snoopy, fantastic. Porsche 917 LH. Here you have a, another silver chrome decoration model. HW Armored Truck. It used to have uh, opening doors in the back, not no longer. Here's a new model. New for 2020. This is the first appearance for this car in the Hot Wheels cases. New model. It'll probably carry over till next month as well in this color. And here you have RV there yet. Let me set it aside so I can just get these out of my hands real quick. 85 Honda Turbo City 2. Spunky little model. And Octane from that video game, Rocket League. Mm, I think uh, three colors now, isn't it? Blue, orange, red. I think those are the three that have been released. And here we go. RV there yet. We'll go ahead and take a look. You can pause it if, if you like. By the way, I'm Mr. Grooves. I won't be doing the uh, features anymore. It, it doesn't work as far as a YouTube format goes. But uh, I will be 
doing something. RV there yet. And besides, right now, since I'm moving, uh, I kind of don't have the time for it. It looks like this part's plastic. It does have a plastic look to it. Plastic chrome base. M35 base code. So it was made the 35th year of 2019. We're still in 2019 right now. As I'm filming this, it's a 2020 car because they start the model, new models actually around September. Silver chrome bumper. So most of it's plastic except for this white part seems to be the metal part of the die cast car as they call it. Chill mill. 69 Chevy Chevelle or Chevelle. 98 Subaru Impreza. 22B STI version. Oh, doesn't have a scuffed roof. It's the uh, blister. Oh, wait a second. No, it's good. It's the blister that's uh, scuffed, not the model. Uh, that's nice. There you go. Tail lights. And what did I want to say? Oh, by the way, uh, you know, collectors, you know, this looks nice. Uh, this actually is a track car, so it has a metal base and plastic body. Just so you know. Here you have another sample of Night Shifter. I really like this deco presentation to where they have the Hot Wheels logo just partially and then it, it fades and then they don't have the uh, red and yellow but the Hot Wheels logo does continue. It's not the best sample but there's other cars that have used this style. I really, really like it. Custom 71 El Camino. This, this car was from Team Hot Wheels. Uh, it's, they don't show it here, but that, this, this car was originally in Team Hot Wheels. You have the rocket engine in the back. And then for headlights, I had two different types of headlights. This one you can see is convex, meaning, I think convex means it, it bows out like a regular headlight. But this one is concave. It uh, curves inward, and it, it's supposed to be like that. That... This is a Hot Wheels creation. Yes, there's a real El Camino, but I'm talking about with all this other stuff, Hot Wheels made a real car like that. Carbonator. Nice to see it. Did you find the uh, carbonator for the 2019 holiday cars? Yes, in the uh, mix again for the 2020 Happy New Year car. 18 Copa Camaro SS. HW Warp Speeder. That looks pretty good. Kind of neat. Of course, color presentation is nice. And then just the design of the car looks pretty good. Pixel shaker. Bone shaker in pixelated format. I had talked about it. Look, it looked like it was 8-bit. Like uh, when video games first started out, they were like 8-bit. So it kind of has that look like it's 8-bit. And then uh, you guys were saying, no, it's Minecraft. Oh, yeah, that makes sense because... Minecraft is kind of like a pixel-based, uh, cube-based game, modern game. So uh, I believe you may be right. 95 Mazda RX-7, or we both might be right, because that I think Minecraft's actually looking like that old 8-bit style. It's upside down, but it says Mazda Speed inside that white stripe. Mazda Speed, nice color. Got some racing stripes on the side. Number 7. It has number seven over here on the side. Or is that number one? Over there, that looks like a... No, it's a seven. It's at an angle. It's hard to see through the uh, curvature of the blister. 76 Greenwood Corvette. Really nice gold color. And another vert sample of the HW Armored Truck. Gotta go. I talked about the other one with roller toaster to where it had that moving function. That's a manual moving function. Gotta go. When you roll this one, the toilet seat lid pops up and down. Oh, shoot. I don't, oh, I showed the back. Custom 71 El Camino and Land Rover Series 3 pickup. I thought I might have forgot to show the back of the card for RV there yet, but yes, I did. I know I showed it. HW 450F. Another got to go. And here you have HW Formula Solar. And it's another model that has all skinny wheels. Here you have another Nissan Skyline. Same one. Same one. Second piece. GTR. BNR R32. These are meant to be put in stores. And so it's just a bulk mix of cars of what they're for. 
85 Honda Turbo City, 85 Honda City Turbo. Uh, Deco's only got the top and the side. And there's another Indy Oval, Indy 500 Oval. High tech missile, there's a great track car right there. And it's a clear body, X Racers in the X Racers series. Doing it up. Surprise, it took a long break as well, but it's got a few releases over the last few years. Another tool again. It says Cartier Works. Cartier Works? Cartier Tool Works. I don't know if Cartier is an employee. A lot of times they put the employee names on the cars. That's why they don't get in trouble because uh, they're not using a trademark name, right? It's just like one of their companies. I really like this Mercedes Benz Unimog 1300. It's a real nice big size model. Uh, really fun from, from a toy car perspective. Yeah, I, I, this is one of the new models that I like. I think it was introduced last year, 2018. I'm not, I'm not sure. If it didn't, wasn't released this year because it would stay right there. And it would stay right there, new model. So I think it was uh, last year. Hyper Rocker, talk about decorations. I really like this one. Uh, it's red and blue, of course. That's appealing to me. But I like, look how they did the roof deco. I like that. Very nice style. So even though you don't, maybe you don't like the car itself, you know, maybe you can appreciate the artwork that they put into it. The Hollinator in green. Cool one. Another ice cream. Two ice cream trucks. Chill Mill and Cool One in the same case. Here you have the 89 Porsche 944 Turbo. I think that one might be a 2020 new model. Let me check. Yeah, yeah, there you go. 2022 new model. Look at that. Come on. I'm not a big fan of that car. <laughs> they use it too much. And it looks very much like another Mustang or a Cobra, I forget. Shelby. And so to me, it's, it's boring for me. Maybe you like it. You know, I'm not dissing you. I'm just saying for me, my collection. Very nice. There's your uh, rounded Porsche front fenders, corners. We get decos on the back. No, no. Yeah, we do. I was looking at the license plate. But it does have like turn markers and brake lights. It's just hard to see. And it does have turbo printed there. We'll take a look at the back and you can read this. Set, pause, set, go. I waited a little bit longer. HW War Speeder, another one. New for 2020, uh, I don't, off the top of my head, I, I don't know if this is new model to this case. I'll have to look it up. I'll put that info in the description. 69 Chevelle, another one. 18 Copal Camaro SS. I do believe there was already one in the case. Uh, my stack's going to fall over. Another Greenwood Corvette and Road Bandit. I think Road Bandit was a new model last case. So now it has carried over. And here you have the Dodge Viper SRT10 AC. Are no no decorations in back. I got decorations on the side and on the top. There's the two sides that they're allowed to do. Let's see the Corvette top and the side. Cost wise, they don't, they're only allowed to do two sides. So there's two and see no tail light decorations. So this was uh, new in the last case. And if you missed it, I'll go ahead and let you check this out right now. Three, two, one, goodbye. Halo! I don't play the game, but I know it's from Halo. Sword Warthog. I got a question for you. I've seen this in the stores. I haven't looked it up. So, like, there's a green version of Warthog. Is it exactly the same? Does it just get a new name if it's a new color? Or am I just uh, confusing with another Warthog model? It does have that attachment on the top. If you're a Halo fan, or if you know, let me know. I read all comments. You have two video games. You got your Halo, you got your Rocket League again, another sample of Octane. And here is uh, 98 Subaru Impreza 22 BSDI version. I already, I think we already had one in the case, right? So there's your taillight decorations. One side, nothing, nothing. Two sides, front and rear. And that's a new model, so in case you didn't see that, you can pause it. I don't want to take too long. Porsche 917 LH. We call this low profile. Maybe this one will take on the uh, GT40. Is it in the same racing category as the GT40? Or are they two total different uh, racing categories? 
before you know, hey, did you see uh, did you see Ford versus Ferrari? Love that movie. It was fantastic. Slide kick. Uh, this is a new model for this. Oh no, last year. Time flies. New model last year. This slides out, and you pull. Uh, what do you do? I think you pull this, and then it's called slide kick. That's because that seat slides out. Wheelie chair. There you go. From Aaron Wheels, Fotheringham, the wheelchair uh, trickster. Let's see where we got. There, see, there's, I told you. Chill Mill, seen it already. Batmobile, I think we already seen it in this case. Pixel Shaker, already seen it in the case. And 95 Miles RX Head, seen it in the case because it had that over on the side. Uh, another carbonator, seen that? Here we have, oh, Aeropod. It was in the last case, so if you've seen the video, you've seen that model already. And three left. Oh, there's another new model. Not Power Rocket. This this was a, a new model way back in the 90s. I think uh, 95, 96. Uh, fantastic car. Fantastic track car. Kids love it. And probably some adults, too. And here we have, I've seen that already. Land Rover, blah, blah, blah. 2 Jet Z. From the Legends Tour, it was a winner, I think 2018, last year. So it took Mattel, by the time they announced the winner, it takes them a year to come out with the design, turn it into toy form. So that was pretty cool. And here's the information on the back. Let me get closer. What is this here? Uh, you can get more information at the Motor Trend. And here is the information with the car. And this one actually... Uh, I believe metal body, metal base. So for cost considerations, you know, most cars only have metal body or metal body. You know, one's metal. It's either the body or the base. And this one, uh, I'm told, people have opened it up, and it has a metal base and a metal body. Now, that can, they could do that because, look, it's, it's a lot smaller than most cars, so that's less metal. Not only that, uh, there's not a whole lot of metal to that body, right? It, open canopy, open wheeler. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of metal. But nonetheless, uh, it was the winner, and it's pretty cool that Mattel is doing that, doing their Legends Tour, and then people get to go to those uh, stops, and they also get to see new cars. They usually do a car show at the same time. Anyways, thanks for watching. Remember to check your subscriptions. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.